And I love John Berriman. <laughs> this, this is a handsome yeah. hunk of man. Yeah. Also cat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But a cat that bites. Uh. Well, Oswald Danes, convicted murderer, pedophile. Did uh, uh, it not contrite about it. Going to his death, three lethal injections, and he lives. And uh, then the world realizes the next person they thought was going to live do doesn't. No one in the city is, no one in the world is dying from that point on. So Aswold is a pivot in a way for either fate, coincidence, whatever. Uh, they can't kill him again. So he begins, has nothing to fear, he begins just telling the truth. And people want to listen to the truth every once in a while. The, they sent me the first three scripts when they sent the offer, and uh, I could see Russell has got an unusual storytelling sense. And the characters are, it's inside this little uh, genre story, but I think he's not, uh, he's, he's not content with getting cartoon characters, good, bad, evil, whatever. Everybody has a lot of drive and a lot of things that happen to them or they act out that, the, that, aren't, that aren't always clear to predict. Now, as you said, Oswald does commit some terrible crimes. Did you have any reservations about playing such a dark role? Uh, we've all done dark things. Don't ask those questions as if you haven't. There's a deep darkness in all of us Yours is incredibly dark, but we aren't going into that too much on this show because it's really about me, not you. But go ahead, <laughs> ask me how dark I am and whether I'm content. No, I think that, uh, you know, for an actor, I couldn't imagine anything more daring than to start as the most reviled person who is barely human. To, in most people's eyes, and then to see him make this journey through this world and actually forge himself as a as a as a as a, as a human that be, has followers. And you've starred in sort of science fiction projects before, so are you a fan of that genre? Well, you know, I I I, I did start with Spaceballs because I think I was disrespectful, and I liked the satire element, you know. Nothing makes me laugh more than, you know, looking at the paper mache, you know, that's, actually, that's supposed to be the spacecraft, you know, I love that. Now, in your career, you've sort of focused more on film than television. Did you enjoy being a, a series regular on Torchwood? Well, I've avoided it, partly because I don't watch television, but um, I, 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 I'm afraid that I've been bit, because this was a very good experience, and I know the next one isn't. I just know, how can it be? This, this was satisfying, five, five months of uh, very good people, very good storytelling, and um, I, I, I really couldn't have wanted it to go better, so I'll sign up to some other stupid thing and then I'll have to live with that. Oh. <laughs>